Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's Noble Beer Views. <clears throat> Today I have another beer from Fauna Flora Brewing Company out of Nebo, North Carolina. Um, <clears throat> this beer is called uh, Banango. Yeah, Banango. Yeah. So you can see there, banana plus mango equals pawpaw fruit. Um, so there's no banana or mango in this, just pawpaw fruit, but a lot of people say that pawpaw fruit tastes like a blend of banana and mango, which uh, I do. I've never had pawpaw fruit by itself, but I have had um, different beers with it, and it definitely does taste like a blend of those two things. Anyways, this is a, uh, a double IPA, double dry hopped with citra, mosaic, and hull melon fermented with pawpaw fruit, and it is, which is kind of a... A new take for these guys. I don't think they've done any IPAs with fruit before, so I'm curious. And double dry hopped. Um, I just I'm really curious to see if this is hazy or not. I have a feeling it might be. Uh, they might be going to the dark side, but who knows? Uh, and this is 8.5 ABV, so let's crack it open and see what we got. <clears throat> it's interesting. The fill is pretty low on that. So it's definitely hazy. Um, now, I will say adding fruit to any IPA is probably for the most part going to make it hazy. Um, I guess if it's a fleshy fruit at least. If it's something like orange where it's like almost you're just getting the juice out of it, then maybe not because orange juice is pretty um, translucent. But uh, if it's like a mash of pawpaw fruit, I would assume it would make it hazy even if the beer itself wasn't. But... It's definitely uh, pretty cloudy with um, a pretty minimal white head. Uh, it's actually, you know, fairly light. Um, it's not quite golden. I see it's like a darker straw color. Oh man, that smells really good. Uh, the funny, I am getting a little bit of mango. But if I didn't know that there was pawpaw in this which does have a mango character I would probably assume that it was from the hops um there's definitely some of that like stinky sweaty almost like catty character um from the uh mosaic and more like a clean tropical note I'm assuming from the citra uh <laughs> And whole, mel whole melon, I'm not sure how that's going to play out in this. I'm not really getting any melon character, but that is generally what I get from that. But I'm definitely getting the citra and mosaic, but it smells really nice. Wow, that's really good. Uh, it also just hit me that that is 8.5%. Wow. I would have never, ever guessed that. Because uh, I was just thinking how the body, the like the one thing that I don't like about it, or I shouldn't say don't like, but it, that I wish was a little different or, would be the body. It is a little watery. Um, but in that, it, I was thinking like, oh yeah, it's, you know, it seems like a, a real hoppy pale ale or whatever. And then I remembered, oh wait, this is eight and a half percent, which is insane. So the flavor is pretty similar to the aroma. Um, there, there's a lot of pineapple, uh, a little bit of a dank character. A little orangey. Uh, I will say that the mouthfeel is a little bit chalky, but it's not not to the point where it's uh, detracting. Um, I'm trying to see if I can really actually pick out the 
the pawpaw fruit. I am kind of getting like a mango character. Like I said, there is some tropical fruit notes. But, again, if I, uh, there is a possibility, because sometimes mango itself, if it's under ripen, um, has like a piney character, but I've never gotten that from Pawpaw. Usually Pawpaw tastes like ripened mango and banana. Um, so, I will admittedly say that if I didn't know that there was fruit in this, I would not assume that there was, um... But that is not detracting from the beer itself. The beer itself is a really, really good IPA. Uh, it does have a, li a pretty strong lingering bitterness. Almost like it, it's sitting in the back of my throat a little bit. Uh, I mean, it's not like some of the ones where it just feels like someone crushed, crushed hot pellets on the back of my throat. It's not that, it's not, you know, um, super bitter where it's making me not to want to go back for more. It's really interesting too because the flavor is very, very juicy, but it drops off pretty quickly and it just completely dries your mouth out and leaves a bitterness in the back of your throat. So the only natural thing is to go back and drink more to replenish that. But I will say, for any of the people who uh, who have hated on these guys for their IPAs, uh, they need to try this because this is um, this is very good. In, in my opinion, it's not like... It's not as good as the best stuff from High Branch and Resident Culture. But I would say it's as good as, like, their average stuff. Which, their average stuff is still really good. Um, so, I give these guys... I give Fauna Flora a lot of credit. Um, I mean, it's obvious still that this is really clean. And they're not putting, like, flour in it or lactose or any of that garbage. So, I mean, it's still... It's based, to me, it's, I would consider it more of, um, like an unfiltered IPA rather than like a New England style because it's not very sweet, uh, it doesn't have that, like, thick body either. It's kind of more of like a traditional IPA, just, uh, cloudy, but it definitely has some new school hops in it too, so that's what would make it more like, uh, New England style, I guess. But I will say... Maybe it's the bitterness that kind of uh, hides it, and it's, maybe I'm actually picking up some alcohol in the throat, and I'm mistaking it for bitterness, but the alcohol in this is insanely well hidden. Um, I cannot believe this. This is 8.5%. Uh, if I drank this, I would guess like somewhere between 6 and 7. Or, or I should say if I drank this and I didn't know what it was. I would guess... Somewhere between six and a half. So I would guess like six and a half. So this is like two ABV points above what I would guess. Uh, you know, these guys completely kill it with almost every style. But if they're going to bang out IPA, like hazy IPAs like this, um, you know, it's just another notch on to possibly bump them up on my list of favorite breweries. So... Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious from what I'm saying. This is absolutely a buy for me. Uh, I don't know what this costs because I bought... I should have looked at an itemized receipt. I do apologize for that. But I bought it with a bunch of other bottles. Um, but given what their other uh, IPAs have been recently, I'm guessing it was like 18 bucks, so like four fifty a can. It is absolutely worth this, worth that, even if it's five dollars a can, twenty bucks a four pack. Um, definitely worth it. This is for sure a buy, uh, and I bet once the word gets out around here, people are going to drive up there from Charlotte and buy some, buy some of it because it's really, really good stuff. But 
I think that's all I got on this one. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.